G'day Matt, this is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns mate, just doing a quick virtual tour of the 2019 Toyota Kluger sitting here in front of me mate, the GXL, only 46,990 drive away, literally just got reduced today as well, so you got good time in making that inquiry, you've already saved yourself a thousand bucks, mate, absolutely awesome car, um, I do understand you're down south, don't let that stress you at all, we're actually the biggest pre-owned yard uh, in Queensland for Toyota mate, we're actually number two in Australia at the moment as well, so we're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here, I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road, you can even See our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there, our service departments down the back. And of course we do have another yard up at 77 Mulgrave Road as well. So we get some absolutely awesome cars just like this Kluger here in front of me. Um, whole idea of this video mate is just to take you through the whole car in as much honesty as we can. Any little sort of stone chips or you know any marks or anything like that I'm going to point out for you. Um, same with the service history, give you a good suss through that as well. And uh, obviously just give you a bit of a better idea than what you can just see from the photos online. Uh, I have kicked this wheel out for you because I wanted to see the tread in here. So pretty much brand new tyres in these. You can see the little indicators just in there. Uh, very well looked after on the actual wheel side of things on the uh, on the driver's side here. Tiny little marks just on the inside of the actual very inside. When they've gone to actually you know take the wheels off for a service, they may have just sort of accidentally caught the, um, that trying to get them off. Not too bad though. Uh, you can see in the sunlight that fleck, that pearl paint just looks absolutely awesome. Uh, very tidy through the front here. Tiny little, a couple little stone chips on that front bumper. So one there, a couple little ones around here and that. But if anything like that is a concern for you, let me know. And um, it's all stuff that we can. I'm sure we can get touched up for you to make it easier and seal them up. But very tidy through the front as we come down. And again, just a couple of these tiny little stone chips just there, there and there. A few little ones across the front. Otherwise, very tidy up through that. You get a little daytime running lights of the LEDs. Once that car's on, you'll see those LED lights as well running up there. Uh, very tidy down the actual passenger side. You can see yourself, no dents or anything like that too. And over to the passenger actual front wheel. Again, just those little marks on the inside there. A couple, little bit of grazing there. But very tidy around the actual outside of the rim. And again, stacks of tread left on there too. Uh, while I've got these kicked off, I'll just quickly show you up under there as well. So you can see right through the suspension, right through everything as well. Looking very tidy through the inside there. Uh, we'll keep moving down for you. Keep this mirror out so you can see that too. We've got little blind spot monitors on the inside there. So basically, if um, we've got sensors around the car, if somebody's actually in your blind spot, they're gonna light up and let you know. So very handy feature, good for motorbikes, stuff like that in traffic. Uh, we've got keyless entry up on both these front doors and the boot as well. So we can push that one there. It's actually gonna lock the car. Uh, once we come back up, put the hand in there, it'll actually unlock it and let us back in. Very tidy through the actual door card itself. Electric windows the whole way around, of course. The build plate there. Not too bad on the actual leather itself, looking very tidy. Little mark, little tiny bit of a cut down there. But besides that, very, very well looked after on the leather. Even through the back of the actual car itself. Into those back seats. It's really well looked after. On that roof as well. We've done a great job looking after this one. And even right across that dash there too. So just while I've got you, obviously you've got the um, beautiful console on the inside there, so for storage, things like that. Uh, I've got the service history for you too. So what have we got? First service in the book, we've got 20, uh, 2021, 29,000 kilometres. Uh, we then got the next one at 42,000, and then finally Pacific Tono. So that's us. That's our. Um, that's who does all our recon. So through Toyota again, uh, 58,000, 2022. So good service history there. Not too bad at all. All your books and everything else is all in the inside there for you as well. we'll keep cruising around here. I'll just quickly show you up on the roof as well. I'm not sure if you can see in that sunlight, but these aren't actually tinted windows. That is just dark glass. It's privacy glass. It's how they come out of the factory. So if you do want to look at the tinting side of things, let me know. We can do it all in-house before we send it down to you. Tie a little bit of a sort of hairline sort of marks just there. I'd say from people's rings or something like that, catching the door, but only very light. Just on the actual inside of the door card there too for the back here. I've just got the child box just there. Not so bad along the actual door card. Very clean through here so far. A little bit of scratching just down on that, that uh, base bit down the bottom. 
We've got the aircon controls in the back here for the kids. We've also got the aircon vents, the lights at the top and the drop down handles. And very similar in the back, we've got the aircon vents and the lights down there too. Uh, the argument separators in here with the cup holders. That one, we've got the 60-40 split, so this is the 40% and that's the 60. Uh, I've got child anger points for all three of those as well. Uh, I've got a couple different handles down here too. So if we pop that one for example, it's going to roll that forward. Giving us access into the back there too. That's your little one of your child anger points. But gives an access into those back seats there too. So very cool through there. So we click that back into place. Keep moving around. Fuel release is just on the back here too, on the passenger side. I'll show you where that is once we jump inside. A uh, little tiny bit of a stone chip just there. But again, anything like that, let me know. It's all, I'm certainly um, sure we can get in touch up for you. Uh, got your sensors right across the back. Little tiny one there and there. A tiny bit of a tiny, looks, again, just a little hairline sort of mark just there. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but again, anything, if you can't quite see it, just let me know. And I'll get some photos through instead for you. Uh, very clean across this back wheel. Again, just those light little sort of marks on the inside there. And stacks of tread left on these. You can see right across that chassis at the back there too, looking very clean. Just head across a, uh, those back windows there too. So you got this little button just down here as we come out. So that little button's just going to unlock this one. So you got the little handle just there, giving you access into the uh, into the rear. So if you've got fridges in there, pets in there, anything like that, this gives you access into there as well. Really handy feature. Close that up. And then the actual boot release is just under there. We've got the electric one for this one. Stand back. First camera tucked up with it. Giving us access into the back here too. So jack and tools. All under there for you. Spare tires up underneath as well. And then we've got the handles here. So these ones, that top handle is going to drop that seat down. Fold it flat for you. So both sides can do that. Giving you access right through that back area there, giving you a giant boot if you don't want those six and seven seats. You can see we've got the child tether points one, two, and three through there as well. Uh, little tie down points down the bottom as well. You've got four of those around the back here too. Of course, we've got lights. That's one of the other ones there. And same thing over there and down here as well. A so really nifty setup. Pretty tidy to the actual inside of the lid there too. And we've got the handle to close it, but again, being automatic, you might as well use that. Close that up for you. Tiny little mark. A couple of little sort of luggage stone marks, uh, stone chips, like luggage marks kind of thing across the back here, just from people obviously putting um, bags, things like that into the boot, I'm guessing. So just a couple of little ones. But again, if that sort of thing is a problem, just let me know. It's um, all stuff that we can look at for you to help get you over the line. But super tidy down the actual driver's side as well. Right across that roof. Trying to get me shadow out of the way for you. It's no good, is it? That's better. Again, just these little. No, that's just a bit of dirt. Not too bad on this one, actually. Just a tiny little mark there, but otherwise pretty good. And of course, just through the actual rear door now as well. A bit tight for room over here. Electric <laughs> windows the whole way around still. Again, very clean through the inside. But like I said, a couple of little marks and scratches just in that base bit there. On the outside of it there as well. But besides that, the rest of the car has just been really, really well looked after, that's for sure. That's, that's just a bit of dirt. That's just a little bit of dirt because we have had a bit of rain. That one is a little tiny chip, but the rest is all just dirt for you. So we do get them cleaned, of course, before they go back down. We get them professionally detailed before they come on the yard, and then once again, when we send them down, it's a little tiny chip. No, it's just dirt, even better. And even across that windscreen, no chips or cracks or anything like that as well. So like I said, we've got that button there, so that now locks the car on both sides, same as the passenger side, so when we go away, come back, put the hand in, it's gonna unlock it for us as well. So all we gotta do is just keep the keys in your pocket. Uh, speaking of keys, before we go on, so I do have just the one key for this one. That's all that we do get traded in with them, so the previous owner may have lost it or damaged it or something like that. I like this uh, central locking, obviously works, and we've got the uh, tower gate release there too, so you can actually open and close it from that as well. So the genuine Kluger key, and of course we've got a panic alarm there as well. So you hold that down, it's going to set off the um, uh, all the alarms and everything on the car as well. So if you're in a bad situation and you need that, it's a real handy one to keep in mind. 
Well, your window controls are over here, central lock and mirror controls here too, so left side of the car, right side of the car, you just adjust that toggle as you need to. Uh, we are a push button start being the GXL in these guys, so you've got to have the foot on the brake to be able to start this one. Here's your little reminder up the top just to tell you once everything's going. But again, it won't physically start unless the uh, actual foot is on the brake. It'll just go through your accessories like that. Um, electric adjustments on the actual seat here, so forwards, backwards, the backrest of course, lumbar support, the whole works, height adjustment, everything from those little ones just down there. So I'm going to jump in, we're going to start this up for you. So again, foot on the brake, got a little message there just to remind us, push that button. So a little welcome message down the bottom there, no engine lights or dash lights or anything like that of course. Just turn that radio off for a second. 58,822 kilometers as it sits right now. So like I said, no engine lights or anything like that. Very tidy through the inside there. Um, up on the actual steering wheel itself, so we've got all your radio controls, so Bluetooth, answer and hangout, volume controls, jump between the different songs, things like that from up here. Um, your safety stuff's over on the right hand side, so that little sub menu in there, we can operate from here. So we go through the different pages options. There we go, so we go through different pages ones, flip between those, so uh, directions, what's playing on the radio, and of course your lane departure and that sort of thing as well. So down here we do have the controls for that, so your lane departure you can turn that on and off, it's going to beep and it's going to start to pull you back on the road if it does, uh, if you start to drift without paying attention. And then of course you've got your adaptive cruise control here too, so again all controlled by the actual steering wheel. So while the cruise control is on, which is over the back here, so on and off with that, set and reset with that. Um, basically if you the car in front of you slams on the brakes, the car will actually react and brake for you as well. Nearly drives itself, but not quite. Um, we've got the wipers up here, they're all automatic too, so they're speed sensitive and of course rain sensitive as well So they will go faster the faster you drive and the more rain that's on the windscreen And then of course we've got your headlights over this side too, so they're set on automatic at the moment So they're again light sensitive, they'll turn on and off as they need to um, Daytime, nighttime, underground car parks, all that kind of thing Parkers, headlights, high beams, blinkers, everything else are all there for you And your fog lights are just down there as well uh, we also have an automatic setting for the high beam here too. So like I said, everything in this car is just about automatic for you. So they'll turn on and off as we want to use that too. So they'll turn on and off and they're light sensitive. So if they pick up another car coming towards you, they'll just turn on and off as they need to. So if you, you know, when you drive towards new cars and it looks like they're, they're flashing their high beam, it's just that one turning on and off for you. Uh, all those little parking sensors that we looked at, that one there is going to turn them on and off for you. Uh, that's the automatic release from here. So if you're picking kids up from the school or anything like that, you can push that and open the boot from the here. Um, real good for the school runs and stuff like that. We got your bonnet release there. Uh, fuel release is. Oh, try and get down so you can actually see it. Fuel release is just there, the electronic one. Um, I did pop that bonnet because I do want to show you up under there as well in a second. Massive big touchscreen display here. We do have a CD player as well, at the top as well. Um, that's your main home button. Every time you push home, it's going to come to this one here. So whatever you've got playing on the radio, Bluetooth, whatever, is going to show up on the left-hand side. And then, of course, your Bluetooth uh, phone connection is going to be on the right-hand side there for you too. So you can jump into either one of those and make it go to full screen. So AM, FM, Bluetooth, whatever you want is all through there as well. Real nice and easy. Air controls are down here, so fan speed's in the middle, temperature is on the left and the right, so it is independent, so the passenger can set their temperatures and the driver can set theirs totally independent as well, so dual climate control for that one. Uh, you can turn the aircon in the back on and off with these guys and the temperature here as well. So if it's just yourself driving, turn it off, you can save a little bit of fuel. Uh, if the kids are in the back and all that kind of thing, you can control it from up here as well to stop those arguments. Hazard lights of course are there, heaps of storage at the top here. Uh, traction control, heaps of blank switches and a snow option there as well, which isn't real good in cans, but it does give you the option. Um, so basically if you want to put light bars or anything like that on the car, you don't have to go drilling holes in the dash, you can just simply put the switches in here. Uh, accessory plug, AUX and USB is tucked away up under there. The adjustable cup holders are just down here for you. You got a little reverse camera tucked away in the back there too. So you can physically see the back bar there as well, so it makes it real nice and handy for backing up the cars, stuff like that. Uh, you've got the solid lines here, so they're about the tip of your wings on the mirrors, so they're the widest point of your car, real nice and easy for backing into lines, things like garages, stuff like that in between cars. And of course the uh, predictable lines as well, so as I turn that steering wheel, it's going to show the direction of travel of where we're heading. So real nice and easy for those guys. Check that into park, it's going to disappear. Nifty little feature with the um, with these Klugers is your handbrake is actually a foot brake just down the bottom there. So you push that one in. And that's your foot brake just down there, and then push it in to release it. So real nice and easy, just a handy one to remember. Uh, your, your heated seats as well for up here, so passenger side, and of course the driver's side here as well, so you can control those from there. We have the world's best cool, uh, sorry, um, glove box here in the middle as well. So heaps of storage there for phones, things like that. We've got a little accessory plug that's tucked away down the bottom as well, but absolutely massive amount of storage in there. I think that's the world's best center console I've ever seen. Um, other than that, incredibly tidy through the inside here. Um, mirrors everything up on the top with the lights on them. Same thing on the driver's side. 
and a little mirror and sunny holders in the back there too. Other than that, we've got airbags right across the top, um, airbags in the seats, airbags in the dash, airbags in the steering wheel, absolutely everywhere for you. So incredibly safe cars, really good family cars. So before we finish this up, just trying to get everything I possibly can in here for you. So that's just beeping to let me know that I've got the keys in my hand and the, and the car is still running. Uh, that is those little daytime running lights I was saying about too. So as soon as you turn the car on, they're gonna be running full time as well. And then finally, up in through the engine bay here. So obviously got the six cylinder uh, petrol engine with these guys, incredibly tidy through there. That's the services have been done for us as well. So can't ask for better than that. So thanks again for your inquiry, Matt. Can't wait to hear feedback soon.